Um, Ghostbusters was the first game I ever bought. First, uh, so probably it's been a bit now. It was probably six, seven years ago. Uh, I had some extra money, and I was like, you know what? I used to play all the time, and I used to love was pinball. I'd love a pinball machine, and I didn't play at all. Like I didn't, I wasn't out playing, and. Uh, I looked online and I started doing some research, and it came down to uh, Ghostbusters or Batman 66 at that time. And oh. uh, I, I'm just a big Ghostbusters fan, so I bought a Ghostbusters Premium, and I played for years uh, before discovering Ace Gogi and On Tilt, uh, that was three miles away from my house, um, and discovering competitive pinball. And uh, well, and now yeah. that we so, have your story, can you tell yes, me? Yes, we can what talk about what we're doing game. on the game. All right. Yeah. So he's gotten into his first mode. So there's three paths you can take. You got this far left path, you got the left ramp path, and you've got this right kind of inner orbit path. Um, and that, then within that's those. That's a return orbit there from the right? Yeah, that goes all the way around back over to here. Okay, so, thank you. Um, when you start your ball, uh, so we've already kind of jumped past it. Uh, he had a skill shot that you can pick. There's two skill shots you can pick. One of them is which mode you want to start um, from the left flipper, and the right flipper is which letter up top. So if you don't get the mode like he didn't, off the skill shot, you have to hit the ghost target, and then Slimer comes down, and you have to bash him a bunch of times in order to light a mode. So right now we can see right flipper skill shot. That mode is lit for uh, the skill shot. But you can move that around. Typical strategy, uh, Walt may move all over here to one of the smaller paths because there's only two in this path. And you can get to a mini wizard mode by getting the, through those two modes. Um, but it's also which mode he feels he's going to get the most points from. So It's Walt, so he's just going to push the button. So I think, he's doing, I think he's doing what, a, what I was path, saying, which yeah. is get over to that shorter path. Complete the two modes that are in this uh, left scoop. And then um, use that. Oh. To get well, a, into a big get move. into we'll, a. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's looking he's at the rig. <laughs> he's like, he, he didn't hit the rig, right? No, he, he's we're fine. Not in he's the way. fine. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. It was a big move, but it the rig is move. on uh, wide body mode. I just so wanted it's, to make sure. Big. I wasn't worried about the rig. I didn't want the rig to interfere with Walt's play. So he's gone into the scared librarian mode, where it's a. Uh, uh, there's four shots that are lit. Um, you just got to hit any of them a few times to get through the mode. Again, he's not playing necessarily the mode for points right now. He's playing to complete the mode. Uh, in the current version of code, if oh, yep, if he had uh, drained his ball, he'd still you get the completion of the mode. Like you, it shows his complete. You don't have to go back into it. So now that's perfect for him. He's gotten into the second mode here, so he's into back off, man. This one he actually has to complete though. So it, when it's the last mode in the tree, you have to complete it to get to that wizard mode. So. He's working through those shots now to try and get, um, it's kind of going to go left and right uh, to get the yellow shots that he needs. So when so, he comes oh, back on his next ball, oh, he, he moves, moves the game we back We didn't over. have to move the rig. He's just going to put the game <laughs> back where it belongs. Interesting, though, that he chose to move because he could have tilted the next player's ball. Or his own. He or, was still in bonus. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, so when he comes back on his next ball, he'll still be in that mode. Um, the other skill shot is these three letters at the top, PKE. Yep. Uh, each one does a different thing. Um, I am not remembering off the top of my head what P, P, I believe, does, lights the super jackpot. E, I can't remember what it does. It might be uh, River of Slime or something, but the K, uh, getting the K will light one of your playfield multipliers for you. Okay. So. My strategy on this another time would have been build up playfield multipliers. So there's a 2x and a 3x playfield multiplier. If you get them both going at the same time, you are in 6x playfield multiplier. And then getting into a multi ball or getting into the, one of those mini wizard modes with the 6x. You can also get it lit by hitting this captive ball several times. And that's your high level, right? Uh, you went pretty deep there. <laughs> you went pretty deep <laughs> into the. It's because I want to see. I want to see these players. Show us, show us all of that. So as we saw, he hit that captive ball a couple times, and it worked its path. And now he's got a 2x lit that he can hit on that stand-up target to the left of the ramp. 
Uh, as we are well familiar with, this game does not have lightning flippers, but it does have the same gap oh, as, lightning as lightning flippers. flippers. It, so a, it is a wider, wider gap uh, but game. I'll tell you one thing I did want to mention, because you can see that game has moved again, uh, and we're a little crooked on the rig. We are playing on concrete floors without rubber oh, yeah. cups. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. So these games can move, can slide. Yep. Um, there are, you know, tilts in there, but they aren't set insane. They're you not insane. Like, no, it's, it's they're actually... They're reasonable, as you can see, from yeah. all, how much the games are moving. It's, but, it's It lets you play uh, a little more aggressively on the tilt side, but also... It's harder because you're not because of the fact that it's on that solid floor and not on cups. The normal nudging you would do is different. It it, it just affects the ball differently. And Matt, shout out for your tutorial there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, thanks, Kale. We wish you were here. We hope you are feeling we'll better. We'll see you tomorrow, I'm right? Hoping we see you yeah, tomorrow. We're gonna see you in here tomorrow. And thank you for subscribing. All right. Yes, thank you so much. The other thing in this game is um, you're catching ghosts, obviously. You're a ghost buster. So any of these inserts that are lit to catch a ghost, as well as uh, on the premium, this will up here, the, instead of an insert, it'll be a uh, little holographic thing. Uh, you catch ghosts as you go, and you can see this meter down here that you have of how many ghosts you've caught. Uh, that builds up, and it, and it lights some different uh, modes and things throughout the, the game. So when you get to a certain number, it will light one of the, the lock shots, right? So, um, oh. And then if you get it all the way to 100, it starts, uh, um, it, it, it lights to start the, uh, oh, what is the name of the mode? I've forgotten the name now. It's been too long. That I can't answer for you. I can't remember the name of the mode. Uh, either way, anyways, it's amazing mode where you have to play reverse slipper left and right. Oh. And it's, it's the uh, game, it's, this is the game where I learned how to do, to the, do this. the crossed armed, the like cross I'm playing arm left and right. Left and right, so your brain. Some people can brain the, oh, you I know, can. without switching, but I am definitely yep. uh, this way. I know yep. we do that a lot on the rush at home. Yes. We're trying to figure out uh, those modes. All right, so Walt here, as I said, he's back into that same mode. So he's still trying to complete this mode um, just to get, uh, get through it. Now, one strategy he could take if he can get a hold of the ball is to start trying to eat, eat the timer up. There is a timer on the mode still, so even though it won't end the, the ball in between balls, he is working his way through not you know completing, but finishing the mode by, by timing it out. And then uh, if he gets into that wizard mode, for completing this one, or finishing this one, I should say. So see, here I would trap up. He's only got 12 seconds left. But he really wants to just go for it, because it's Walt. Because it's Walt. He's always going to go for it. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to finish this proper. He's only got a couple seconds left. So it's like, Walt, oh, come on. Come just, on, Walt. Just let it finish. OK, so now we can see these lights lighting here on this left ramp because he can get into one of these wi mini wizard modes. Um, and the way it works is that. Oh, look at that pace. Yep. Oh. Depending on which path you've done, whether it's the two, the three, or the four path, is how many ball multi ball it is okay. when you go into the wizard mode. So he's done the two ball. Okay, so he's, he's going just into, it go now. into it now. He, gets, he had a jackpot. super jackpot lit. Now he's going to go into uh, We Came, We Saw. We kicked its ass. And then he's going to get that as a two ball multi ball because he completed those two uh, modes on the left one. Oh, 
so we're we're looking to do that same shot as the super jackpot. Is that why that's red? No, yeah, that's the super jackpot. But now we can see all these yellow shots. He's lit a bunch of different shots, and they'll move around the play field as he goes in this mode. Oh, okay. And there's actually uh, uh, there's a, a really fun call out in this because if you complete that with a certain percentage of it, you get a certain percentage of that that wizard mode complete. Uh, you get the the call out of the we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. But if you don't, if you only get a couple of the jackpots or you don't get enough of them, uh, it, it does uh, we came, we saw, we got our asses kicked because Ernie Hudson came and did all the voices for the, oh. the pinball game. And there he is moving that game again. <laughs> Mass hysteria, that's the one I was trying to think of. That's the, uh, if you get 100, 100 ghosts, you can get in to Mass hysteria. Uh, we'll try to get the game, uh, the rig centered again. Likely Walt will do what Walt he just did. Walt will probably just did. move the game back. Just move the game back. <laughs> Who cares if it's going to tilt? I'm just going to move that thing <laughs> yeah. anyway. Uh, Walt is definitely... He's feeling it. He's gotten into uh, yeah. his Tobin spirit guide. So it's, uh, it's essentially the mystery on this. Which, uh, the fun thing with this mystery-wise is it will show... You, you actually get multiple mysteries. It's not a single mystery. It's like a book of, of a bunch of them. But uh, he's got to nope, be feeling nope. good. He's not going to put it back for us this time, but he's that's not, okay. He's not. It's okay. It's not too uh, far it's off. It's not we too can far off. It. We can still see kind of everything uh, except for the plunge there. So um, we'll just kind of leave that while they're playing. When this uh, first came out, that you could do a skill shot at the right um, scoop that started a mode. Um, you could start a video mode on it where you could get a ridiculous amount of points without ever having really done anything in the game. And then oh. they eventually, Dwight came Nerf and updated that. the code after a lot of people said, please get rid of that. Nerf. You can still get that mode. It's the uh, it's this whole car, uh, the, the, when the cards, uh, ESP mode, but there's a, a video mode where you essentially move, don't cross the streams, you move the uh, proton streams around, and you can get a lot of points. All right, so we're moving into ball three here with Wayne. He's got 8.7 million, but again, he's actually on, so he's lit his third uh, mode with that skill shot if he gets it, even without the skill shot, because it's still lit. So he's gone into that mode, but he has to get through this mode. So again, he either has to complete it or time it out if he wants to get the we came, we saw. So again, thank you for everybody following along. Um, if you've just joined us, and I know if you have, we are at the Electric Bat in Tempe, Arizona. Yep. Uh, they have a full weekend of pinball tournaments going on here, celebrating their five-year anniversary. Uh, tonight is the Friday Night Progressive Strikes. We're doing a strikes tournament uh, for eight strikes. If you've never actually seen any pinball tournaments before, the way that works is you play in four-player groups, uh, sometimes three players. And along the way, depending how you do in that group, you either get zero, one, two, or three strikes. Yep. They total through the night. When you get eight, you're eliminated. We keep going until there's one person standing. Absolutely. Um, at the event uh, tonight, and I haven't actually seen the whole player list for tomorrow, but I can tell you right now there are four people in the top 250. I think maybe higher than that. Yeah. So. Uh, definitely, I think four in the top 100 in the world are playing here, so. Um, well, Wayne thankfully moved the game back for us after. Oh, nice. So. Yes. Uh, so as you can see, the games do move. Yes. Do move, concrete floors, which is kind of fun, you know? Yeah, no, I, I actually prefer it. Um, obviously, we, I wouldn't want to do it at, say, home at home because we've uh, got we have like wood, wood floors, floors that we destroy. Would destroy. Our but, landlord uh, would not be super happy, but... Um, I, I like being able to move a game of ferment. I mean, I, I still believe in I'm, tilts and... and I'm uh, only four foot ten, so my... Like, I don't have a lot of muscle But you've started really it. moving games. I've, I you, don't you have You can't say that nudge. anymore because no, I've, seen so I've seen it's you. No, that's so true. I've seen you. I cannot move them the way other people do. All right, so Jason's Jason, stepping yep. up. Uh, 
Another interesting thing, this has, a, if you've played Turtles, um, it has a similar mechanic that th this was obviously first, where the pop bumpers at the top here are three separate pops that essentially become a slot machine. Oh. And if all three match, you get the award for those three things that match. Some of it can be you know, big points, or it can be you know, bonus multipliers, lots of different things. All right, he's going into multiball. So this is great. Great opportunity here. What I would focus on is trying to hit these Newton targets to light the multipliers. He's got his 2x lit already, so he wants to get that started by hitting that stand up. And then try to get the 3x lit and going as well um, to build up the, the value in this. And you, this is where you can break billions in this game. Um, so uh, he's, he's not quite hitting that, that 2x. All right, he's getting control. Oh, no, he's got his 2x going now. If he can hit the, uh, that Newton target, he can get his 3x lit to make it 6x. But also, every time he hits the 2x, it keeps it going long. OK. Uh, goal of this, uh, you'll see ghost, no ghost uh, inserts lit all over the play field. So you can catch a lot of ghosts during this mode. Oh. Oh. All the drains. But that was still a really nice, uh, he had a held bonus too. They had uh, an extra ball. Extra ball. Now, so he's going to plunge that extra ball. Now this, you, This is what again, I'm going to pick. What do you do on an extra ball you here? You've got to try for these, these PKE up top. you got to try for those because you're just, even if you don't, get the value of what you the reward is, the value of the skill shot itself is there. Yeah. Ball is saved. It's going to keep bouncing around. <laughs> OK, got Walt stepping up. <laughs> Getting a little show Walt's, for Walt's everybody. My, Walt's my favorite on-camera <laughs> personality. We need to get him behind the booth this weekend, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely will. Uh, Got a little show, got a little drumming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, nice walk. Yeah. It looks like everybody here is enjoying that as well. Uh, Matt, if you can actually just grab the commentator cam for a minute and just do a little spin and kind of show people around uh, the room. Yeah, I will try. I've just been picking it up and like, yeah, you can see we got a lot of people. Uh, there's a stream above us that everybody's kind of watching as we're waiting between rounds. And then we've got uh, the middle room. So there's three zones again. Uh, we're in the east room, then there's the middle zone, and then over in the west room. Thank you for doing that. Oh, nice save on that one. I actually kind of, I, I, I got I say I kind of missed this game. I uh, had it for about five years, and then it's the, it, as I said, it was the only game I had. And then at the beginning of the pandemic, I started, I sold this. I started buying different games and kind of buying so and selling games. And now we have. If, if anyone hasn't worked it out, Matt is a massive Ghostbusters fan, not oh, just the pinball game. Um, our house has these like giant replica Ghostbuster backpack things. Proton packs. Yeah. <laughs> Proton packs. Backpack things. Backpack things. Uh, like, and they look like realistic all on the walls, and like he's got a full outfit. I'm surprised okay, he's so not wearing it today. Okay, Walt so has something's happening. Our six X multiplier going. This is where he can just insanely blow this up if he can get into that. Uh, Get, get into a few shots in here. So what he's aiming He's got a four ball multi ball in there right now. He's because he got his add a ball by adding it at the uh, Newtons over here on the left. So he's back down to two balls, right? He's down to two balls, but trying to get control, trying to get control. But he has a six going, and if he hits either of those stand ups, it will continue it. It will add time to the six X. Level. Oh, this is great though. Still, six X even without the multi ball going through that mode is going to add a lot. He got his gear award. That was for hitting the three stand ups and completing them over here. So because of the six X, it was worth 
I think it was 20 million in there. So he's now back into 2X play field. He's relit 3X play field again. He definitely likes to push the he game is now in back one into, direction. He does. He's now back into his 6X play field again, and he's angry at this. <laughs> 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 the slings that will never give him the ball back. <laughs> oh. All right, so now he gets Don't Cross Stream. 6x multiplier with this video mode. If he does this, you're moving the streams back and forth. You Obviously, you can't cross them. you got to catch the ghosts as they come up. You get a little bit of a hint because the order they show up in the background is the order they're going to display up in front of you. But this mode is worth a ton of points already. And with the 6x multiplier going, if he completes this, it is going to be massive. So 480 million points wow. off of that single video mode. That, uh, that doubled his score. Yes. Yeah, that's, that that's, more than doubled his score. It is insane amount of points by doing that. And he knew exactly what he was going for there. Uh, He's being very considerate, but he does not need to do that. Thank you. Uh, don't, don't risk your ball, Walt. Uh, thank you, Big Brother, for the subscription. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what happened. I had set up the little thing to try and, like, cheer people when they did stuff, and I don't know why it's not working. So for tomorrow, I'll have to troubleshoot that, see if I can figure out why why that's not working. It feels like we have a stuck ball behind us I think on so. some John, game. John's, John's banging a game. It looks like Dracula. Maybe he's just trying to free a missed multi-ball. That was a, a great ball by Walt. That was an awesome ball. That was amazing. You can tell Walt's happy, but Walt is always happy. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, even I when he's angry, he does it in a happy way. Yeah, I've not ever seen him really angry. You know, when <laughs> everybody has a bad ball, but he. And it looks like he's got another extra ball here that he's going to have to plunge as well. Bounce there into the scoop. So we have Chewy coming up to take us through this game. We know Walt's got a strong lead, but let's recap where everybody else is at once we uh, we get that. Yep. Oh, and he's... It's still, he's still working through. It looks like he's actually got another extra ball. I think he racked up three extra balls during that. Oh, no, uh, don't walk up. No, don't no, walk no. up. Oh, yeah, shoot again. <laughs> And you know, on one of those, he actually got all those pop bumpers, uh, like the jackpot that you were talking about. That's what I was about. saying, where it, it, it kind of does it slot machine style. You got to get all three to line up. And it just keeps coming and coming. There we go. He didn't break a billion, though. He could have easily if he had had a chance to play those extra balls. So. So we've got uh, Chewy taking us out of this game. Got a lot of work to do there. A bit of work, a bit of work. Again, though, this is one of our, it might be the top group or one of the this top This is the top group. The and, top and, group. And, and honestly, I didn't even pick it because it was the top group. I'm glad I did, but I picked it because of the game because I wanted to talk yeah, about Ghostbusters. So, you know, at the worst, uh, somebody in this group could have, will have uh, six strikes. So there's still, nobody's going to get eliminated. Um, and it's been a really good one to watch. Absolutely. That's right. Let him know he only needs 928 million for first. He's close. I think we saw potentially an ask about Dracula. Anything oh, else that's right. that people uh, are interested in seeing out there? Oh, there's a fun fact. Thank you, Kale. Oh. Walt has the GC already. <laughs> Now he's going to add another high score to that. So. It's been really nice in this tournament, even though you know we're seeing like like Walt and Wayne and Jason Chewy like excellent play. 
there were a lot of uh, first time players here as been. well, yep. which is, you know, it's great to see people being able to play, not intimidated, not kind of, not a tournament where it, it, you feel like you have to go dump all your money. Like it's really <laughs> been nice yeah. to, to bring new people in. That's actually probably one of my favorite things about pinball. Well, and that's the thing too, is tonight's tournament, um, and this is something, you know, it's not every time the bat does this, but they're amazing because they are really supportive of that to the extent where if you were not, if you were registered for the whole weekend, you didn't put anything into play tonight. And there's yep. still prizes and all sorts of stuff. And even if you weren't registered, even if you were just playing this, like those people that were playing for the first time, all they had to pay was the $1 IFPA to get in. Oh, that's 